Here comes Kobe working by Christie in the turbo and puts it up and down for two. Kobe Bryant. Kobe again. Christie is on him. Bryant will fire the two. Bucket. Got it. Foul on the play. Kobe is giving them the business. He is literally taking this game over. Here's Bryant. Oh, got the screen. Takes it in. Kobe Look at that. And Kobe Bryant slamming the door on Sacramento with that play there in a 48.16 rebound performance. Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, the dominant forces in this game. Unstoppable in the playoffs. Plowing through the Blazers. Up 3-0 on the Kings. Can anyone stop the Lakers? Sacramento, California, the state capital in the background on this incredible May afternoon. And we're inside of Very Loud Arco Arena for the game four starting lineup. Here's the King's public address announcer, Scott Moak. Let's meet the visiting team, the Los Angeles Lakers. At four, 16, from Clemson, number 54, Horace Grant. Four, six seconds from North Carolina, number 17, Rick Fox. That guard, 6'1", from Arkansas Little Rock, number two, Derek Fisher. That guard, 6'6", six, six, from Lower Marion High School, number eight, Kobe Bryant. At center, 7'1", from Louisiana State, number 34, Shaquille O'Neal. The head coach of the Lakers is Phil Jackson. It's time to Your 6-1 guard for Marshall, number 55, Jason Wishing you a happy Mother's Day as we're coming to you from a rockin' our go arena in Sacramento. The home fans want to see this series extended. The Lakers trying to complete the sweep of the Kings. With Clark Kellogg and Mike Fragello, this is Kevin Harlan. The duo of Shaq and Kobe Mike looking to close this round out. Kobe and Shaq combining for over 65 points per game in this series. Torching the case. Sacramento coach Rick Adelman has no answer. Then again, no one in the NBA does. So Clark, that is the question. Who can stop Shaq and Kobe and these defending champion Lakers? Well, partner, 14 straight wins for L.A. They haven't lost in over a month. The role players have been huge as well. Rick Fox defensively, Horace Grant on the glass, Derek Fisher orchestrating and running the point. L.A. running on all cylinders. System, go. With the defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded king, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharp shooter, Pacius Diakovic is the small four. And the Kings all-star, Chris Webber and Buddy Ebots round out their five. The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe still in the show in a 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two, not one, two, sprained ankle. 
He's been nowhere close to 100% this year. Kudos to C. Webb for not complaining about it. And Clark, just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for it. Well, the big story in this one, as we told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant does not his normal bubble himself today. He could take that out on the Kings. Kevin? He might. Kobe is always, David, under the microscope tonight. He'd like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Here's Bryant. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Kobe's got his second basket of the game. This just proves how tough Kobe is. Rushing off the defense inside. No brain. Coach, fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points. Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment. And what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Neal finds Bryant. And finish up by Bryant. Bryant able to elevate him going and getting it up top. From deep, Bryant, and so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. Now he kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a master quarter. Right back after this break. Arco Arena may be the wildest building in the NBA. Los Angeles leading by eight. The Lakers leading the series three games to none. Trying to complete the sweep tonight. Well, Clark, you got to give these young Kings owners credit. Since taking reins of this franchise two years ago, they have certainly brought excitement here to Sacramento. And Kevin, not just excitement, but since they took over, the Kings are on their best run since they came out west. And that one, good. And Robert Ory on the floor coming off the bench. As clutch as they come, Mike. Winning a couple titles with the Rockets, hitting some huge shots. His leadership is big for this Lakers team. Here's Kobe. Kobe Bryant! So good at finishing through contact. The game from Kobe Bryant. Mike already in double figures. Bryant has just destroyed the Kings in this series. You can't throw double teams on him with Shaq out there. Boy, this really is Kobe's game in a nutshell. I mean, it's the biggest part of his game, his ability to score. And he looks to be aggressive hunting his shots. Here's Christie. Bryant with the rebound. Angeles enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. a lazy afternoon on the Sacramento River, but it's a beautiful day in Northern California. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. We're back in California's capital, Sacramento. The Lakers up three games to none in this series. Mike, for the second straight year, the Kings and Lakers facing off here in the NBA playoffs. Last year, they went the full five games in the first round. The eight-seeded Kings putting a scare into the top-seeded Lakers. The Lakers. Inside, and O'Neal gets it to go. And the Lakers lead by 10. Nice ball movement that time by Brian, and I don't think he gets enough credit, guys, for how good a passer he is. Christie kicks to Stiakovich. Rubber outside. It's a nice ball movement here by the King. Christie can't make it. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. It's blocked. The nine shots. Weber doing a good job utilizing his length and setting the tone defensively. It's good for Bryant. Back-to-back 30-point -back games. Showing just how dominant he can be. He's just carrying this offense right now. Clark, Phil Jackson's Bulls, of course, winning six titles in the ninth. And now Phil is in charge of this special Los Angeles Lakers group. With the title under his belt, 
Could this be the team of the 2000s? It's been the focus of this franchise. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. Kobe from deep. That three gives him 39. A new playoff best. The Topping the 36 that he had in game three. Back-to-back -back games with playoff career highs. We don't see that often. He gets after it defensively now. Desire and determination on full display. He wants to shut folks down. Kobe Bryant getting it done for the Los Angeles Lakers. This has been a remarkable game for him offensively. Anytime you get over the 40-point mark, it's been a special, special day. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. France checked in. Here's Kobe. Oh, that makes 49. And Kobe can score from anywhere on the floor, especially dangerous from inside. And they did it, folks. Big win for the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks in large part to Kobe Bryant, setting a new playoff career high for scoring. Well, we thought we saw a great game from Kobe in game three, getting 36 points. He was even better tonight. Just magnificent. Make it 15 consecutive wins, Clark, for the Lakers. Kevin, when Kobe plays like this, impossible to account for both him and Shaq. Good luck to the next opponent. And for us here at 2K Sports, it's been a pleasure to have you with us tonight. Bryant has worked this crowd into a lather, and at this point, he's hunting that three-point shot. Here it goes. Got it. 12 threes for Kobe. The most in a single NBA game. Well, it's often said the NBA season is a marathon. And while stumbling out of the gate can prove costly, the race is won by those who endure. Tonight, two teams in the back of the standings, but the Sonics were a playoff team last season led by their indomitable point guard, Gary Payton. The Lakers, fresh off a championship 3 d Both teams looking to regain ground in the always tough Western Conference. Welcome everyone to Hollywood, where the stars always shine. And man, do we have a show for you tonight. Beautiful day here in Los Angeles, and here with Clark Kellogg, Mike Portello, and our reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Hart. It's a new year, and these teams both resolving to get some wins. And in particular, the Lakers, coming off three consecutive titles, off-season surgery saw their star, Shaquille O'Neal, miss the first 12 games of the season and they've continued to struggle in his return. They have, Mike, and while the Lakers sit at 14 and 20, the Sonics are at 500, 16 wins, and Clark 16 losses, but they've struggled of late. Case in point, five losses in their last seven games. I mean, they're looking to bounce back from that tough loss to the lowly Nuggets the other night, where they gave up a huge closing run, got outscored 32 to 15 in the fourth quarter. On the court for Seattle, the 6'11", Montenegrin, Drobniak at the 5. Size and shooting at the forwards with Rashard Lewis and Vladimir Radmanovic. And the backcourt, the athletic Desmond Mason. And the glove, Gary Payton. For the Lakers, it's Samaki Walker and the big fella inside, Shaquille O'Neal. Iron Man, Rick Fox at the 3. And the guards, both drafted in 96 and playing their entire careers with the Lakers. Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant. And both of these teams coming off of home and away miniseries. The Lakers with an away game and then home game versus the Suns. The Sonics having the same against the Nuggets. Now, here's Fox. And the Lakers in their home gold. And the Sonics in deep green road jerseys and gold and white trim. Love the fact that Gary Payton can create for himself and others. And by the way, he's leading the NBA in assists at 9.3 a game. Ryan against Mason. Ryan passes to O'Neal. The 
kick out to Fox. Bryant in the corner. Just five to shoot over Mason. They grab their own miss. Bryant on the wing, and he gets the bucket. Boy, this really is Kobe's game in a nutshell. I mean, it's the biggest part of his game, his ability to score, and he looks to be aggressive, hunting his shots. In court for those away at home, two-game series both split by the Lakers and Sonics. The Lakers winning at home, and the Sonics got the game on the road. Yeah, you know, considering the Nuggets' record, only 6-24, and 24, I think the Sonics expected to take both of those games, but you got to believe that home loss was a tough one to digest. So I expect they'll be highly motivated tonight. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. A pass to Peyton. Good, nice job down low. And with his six foot four frame, point guard Gary Payton operates inside and out. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. The Lakers have two of the top four scorers in the league this season. Kobe ranks second with just over 27 points a game, and Shaquille O'Neal is fourth at a hair under 27. And Shaq has just now played enough games to qualify with the league leaders as he's worked his way back from that toe surgery. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Walker is screen on Mason. Here's Bryant. Drains it from 17 feet out. Kobe's got his third basket of the night. You know, when it's Kobe running that pick and roll, I think you've got to blitz him. Get the ball out of his hands. Otherwise, you're in trouble. 31 points and 12 boards. Another big game for Kobe on Sunday. And for the season, averaging 27 points, seven assists, Almost eight rebounds, two steals, and about a block per game. He is a superstar stat sheet stuffer. There's no backing down when it comes to Kobe. He'll take on anybody, the criminal or in the paint. It's his first trip to the line. And the Lakers making a change here. Or he's checked in. And the Supersonics also making a change. Adepenko's checked in. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And Mike, look at the standings here in the Western Conference. And at present, neither Seattle or Los Angeles are a top eight seed. Yeah, a lot of teams in front of them, headlined by the Mavericks and Kings, both on pace for 60 wins or more. The Lakers and Sonics have some catching up to do. Mike, they do. And you look at the bottom of that list, Denver at 7 and 26. Clark, that seventh win coming against the Sonics in Seattle, where the Nuggets won by 12. Way to throw a little salt on that wound, Kevin. That undoubtedly was their worst loss of the season. But a win tonight will wash away some of that bad taste. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Oh, we all know the points that Jack has scoring inside, Mike. He's led the NBA in field goal percentage five years in a row. And again, leading this season, shooting just over 58% from the field. And he's putting some distance between himself and the runner-up, Yao Ming. Left side, Anderson. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. And the lefty, Kenny Anderson, he's been dealing with the strained left calf the last few weeks, but still finding a way to get it done. You know, Kobe usually prefers operating in the mid-range and inside. Looks pretty good to me, Mike. Yeah, last season he was second in the league in two-point field goal attempts, but he was outside the top 100 in three-point attempts. Lewis kicks to Mason. Here's the three, and the Sonics looking to answer back. And defense not the strong suit for Rush. The rookie is vulnerable at that end of the floor. Mason against Bryant over Mason. And it's Seattle with the rebound. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Los Angeles leading by seven. Or he gets the bucket. Or he's got his second basket of the game. Clever decision that time by Rush with the basketball, not just holding it and waiting for his shot. Here's Mason. Can't connect from short range. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. And Porter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points.
right back after this break. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter here in Los Angeles as the defending champion Lakers look to take care of home court against the Supersonics. Well, the Sonics looking to improve on last season when they suffered a first-round exit to the Spurs in the playoffs, although they did make a series out of it. Yeah, you know, but those Spurs were sent home by the Lakers the following round in a gentleman's sweep. So these are not the title-contending Sonics of the mid-'90s. I'd say they're more than a player away. Here is Anderson after the basket by Los Angeles. 1996 Defensive Player of the Year. The first point guard ever. And there's triple number six for Kobe. How about that, Mike? Kobe has now tied his career high mark in three-pointers made with six. Hit that mark before in the 2000 playoffs. But is he done? I don't know. Rush with the steal. Here's Bryant. Cracks it in. That's 18 for him in the quarter. Well, right now, Kobe's turned that grease on the stove up, folks. He is on fire. Keep getting in the ball, please. In close to play inside out. Bryant from deep three. From three and a new career high for Kobe Bryant. His seventh three. And still, lots of time to add to that. Already a career high for Kobe at three point makes. If this continues, tell you what, some league records might very well fall. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. And with as many three pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And we'll be back with you shortly. And as we return, the sun setting in the west. A lovely view with the sun over the Santa Monica Mountains. And we're back for the second half here in L.A. as these Lakers continue their quest for a fourth consecutive title. Still a long way to go, but every game counts, including this one. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. Eight threes for number eight, and Kobe Bryant is on fire. Unbelievable display by Kobe Bryant from long distance. And you know, he's something different, but this is special even for him. Timeout Seattle. And Kobe Bryant, man, is he feeling it tonight. No better feeling than that, partner, when you're this hot, and even an intense competitor like him will on occasion let that enjoyment show. An invitation. And here's Kobe from the arc. Wow! Brian pouring in the threes. Ten of them, count them, ten. Just one triple away from tying the all-time record. And these fans know they're seeing something special. Peyton kicks to Mason. Outside Lewis. Walker with the rebound. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. the record if I know Kobe he wants his own record and the Sonics decide to take a timeout and Clark the crowd responding letting Kobe know they're enjoying the show tell you what Kobe is hunting that shot right now isn't he yeah you can tell he's feeling it trying to see how far he can go Bryant getting it done for the Lakers. A sensational night for him continues as he cranks his three-point made total even higher on what has been a historic night for him. Back to the action in just a minute. Outside, Bryant. Bullseye! Kobe from three again! This is one of the greatest individual performances in NBA history. Passes it to Forte. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. 
first team ball. Seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not timeout. settling for bad shots. And Phil Jackson calling timeout, letting these Laker fans show some love. A much-deserved ovation for Kobe Bryant, Mike, as he'll be subbed out after a job well done. A performance to remember. All in a day's work for Kobe. With the game put away, no need to keep pouring it on. And just maybe leaving himself room in the future to come back and break this record all over again. And so the Lakers win it going away behind the record-setting night from Kobe Bryant who set a new high water mark from beyond the arc. And for a player who averages well under a single three-point make for his career and 31% from that distance, this came out of nowhere. I get sure did. And how about this from our stat crew? Before tonight, Kobe Bryant only had four or more three-point makes in Clark just seven games his entire career. Yeah, kudos to our researchers. That's a nice nugget. Pretty surprising that that's the story, the way he shot the ball tonight. But it was certainly a pleasant surprise for these Lakers fans who've witnessed history in the making. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much here with Kobe Bryant. Kobe, this team is now getting back and getting healthy. How close are you to where you want to be? Well, you know, we're uh, everybody's kind of falling back into their natural positions now. So everybody's naturally more comfortable what we're doing. And uh, as a result, we're just playing well. It's a good streak right now. Congrats on the win. Kevin? All right, DA, thanks again. Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you next time. He puts on the brakes, fires the three over Stackhouse, got it! This is unreal, and if I'm Washington, I'm getting very worried right now. Simmons is on Kobe Bryant. He'll let it fly from three. Good. Kobe's in a zone like this. He is unguardable. To do this on George's last game in this building? My goodness. And Kobe lets it fly. Eyes oh, turn again. What a performance. Ryan picked up by Lou above the line. Now they double. Now he fires. Got it. Kobe with a three. You better believe he's laying that fly. There is no answer for Kobe Bryant right now. Kobe Bryant absolutely incredible. And listen to this crowd. They know they're witnessing greatness. And Kobe checks out with 55. 42 in the first half of franchise record. A name the Laker faithful know all too well. His heiress, Michael Jordan, makes his final trip to Los Angeles, where he'll be met by the reigning champs led by Kobe Bryant. Will this be the game where Jordan passes the torch to Kobe as the preeminent guard in the NBA? Lakers, Wizards, coming up. The Hollywood Hills, the iconic backdrop of Los Angeles. Inside Staples Center, MJ and Kobe ready to go at it. Let's throw it downstairs to legendary Lakers PA announcer, Warren Stanner, with tonight's starters. And now, celebrating a 34 year in Southern California, the franchise with 14 NBA titles, the most wins in NBA history, the Hollywood is a family. NBA World Champions, your Los Angeles Lakers. At forward number 35, 6'9", third year from Stanford, Mark Maxson. At one forward, number 17, 6'7", fourth year from North Carolina, One guy, number two, 6'1", 7th year from Arkansas, Little Rock, 
of NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Hill. We've got a great matchup as Michael Jordan and the Wizards go up against Kobe Bryant and his Los Angeles Lakers. Mike, this should be a fun one. Well, this is reportedly Jordan's last visit to Los Angeles to play the Lakers. I expect either Michael or Kobe to put forth a memorable performance. And Clark, the Lakers are looking to be as sharp as possible as they gear up for another playoff run. Yeah, you're exactly right, Kevin. I mean, Coach Jackson wants this team clicking as the season winds down. You know, Kobe and Shaq, they'll be ready to go, but he wants to see which other players are going to make the postseason rotation. Now the starters for Washington. Jerron Liu is the former Laker with Michael Jordan in the backcourt. Sherry Stackhouse will play the three. He's having a great year. Christian Leitner will be at the four with Jahadi White anchoring the team at center. And for the Lakers, Mark Madsen makes the move into the starting lineup at the four. Robert Ory will come off the bench tonight. Rick Fox is the other forward. Shaquille O'Neal, of course, starting in the middle. And as always, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant are the backcourt tandem. Well, it's a matchup everyone has been dying to see. Kobe Bryant going against Michael Jordan one last time. This is one NBA fans have had circled on their calendars. Now here's Bryant following the miss by Michael Jordan. And that one's good by Kobe. There are very few players who can slow a score of his caliber down. Here's Lou, defended by Fisher. And there's the pass to Stackups. Nailed from three-point land. And Clark, the Kobe Jordan matchup. It has a little changing of the guard feel to it, don't you think? You're right on top of it, Kevin. And Jordan would be the first one to admit that. I mean, he admires Kobe's passion and approach, but you know, Jordan has plenty of fight left in him. One of the greatest competitors we've seen in the history of the league, and he's going to look to put his mark on this one. Now here's Shaq, following the miss by Michael Jordan. Shaq with the bucket. Oh, wow. We love this one, don't we, Clark? Kobe and Michael Jordan will be guarding each other a lot, it seems. Yeah, I love it, Kevin. They'll be looking to ramp up their defense in this one. We can count on that. Right at each other all game long. Jordan is something to watch slamming home the ball, man. This guy is really strong and does it with force. And here's Bryant for three. And Kobe not wasting any time. Morris checked in for Shaq. George comes in for Madsen. It's Pargo in for Fox. Then for the Wizards. Haywood's checked in for White. And it's Brown in for Lake. And a It's hauled in by George. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. And that'll put Kobe at an even 20 points here in the first quarter. Fundamentally sound right there. Threw it down with two hands. Yep, sweet dunk for him. Beyond the aesthetics, a big two points. For three. Oh, wow. Kobe over the 20 point mark. And we're still only in the first quarter. He is on a beater. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Los Angeles on top, up by eight. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Far, but Kobe Bryant has kept Michael Jordan wrapped up in this one. You can see the effort Kobe is exuding on defense. He has laser focus each time he picks up Jordan. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Wizard. 
Kobe is in the zone. You can see it. And they double up Bryant. And here's Fisher outside. Carries it from three-point range. And the Lakers lead by 20. Hey, the field goal percentages tell the full story. One team is playing more smart and efficient basketball. And the other, not so smart. They're playing too fast, not getting good looks, forcing things. I love how he challenged the shot. That takes some guts to the hoop. Wow, with a shot, Kobe has surpassed his previous high mark this year of 36 points and a half. And Kobe Bryant had a terrific month of February, Mike. He could not miss. Averaged over 40 points per game that month. Only Will and Elgin Baylor have ever done that before. I've never seen a player get that hot for a month. The train. It's down. He's got 22 this quarter. The threes are piling up for Kobe. You wonder if he'll match the 12 threes he made earlier this year. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, Make no oh, doubt about it. Wow. I'm loving it. What a throwdown. <laughs> How many other guys can do that? Michael Jordan, everybody. You can't oh, tell his shoulders. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Lou passes to White, and he can't bank that one in. Ryan from way outside, and so it's Los Angeles holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. Only four years old, the Staples Center. One of the most state-of-the-art venues in all of sports. All right, halftime has come and gone for the Lakers and Wizards. Third quarter action getting started here at Staples. Lou passes to Leitner. And it's Shaq with the rebound. Shaq's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. There it is! Kobe now tying his season high here with 52. He's raining them down. Kobe has hit a dozen threes again this year. Lou passes to Leitner. Right on the bucket. Leitner's got four this quarter. With this touch around the hoop, Leitner will eat you alive down low. Well, coming into this game, Michael Jordan was stringing together a number of great performances. I mean, just jaw-dropping. Yeah, three straight games. Of Kobe Bryant now over the 55-point mark. What an absolute spectacle he has been here tonight. To stop this cold streak right now. So far, nothing is working. You can see the frustration is mounting, and because of this, their offense has been sputtering. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We can clearly see the contact. The first free throw is good. Walker's checked in for the Lakers. He hits both from the strike. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. And you talk about killer instinct, Mike. Kobe has had that look to him all game long. This is a statement game from him. We are watching the torch getting passed from Jordan to Kobe. Right now, let's take a moment to check in with our sideline reporter, David Alston. Finishing what's this team inside. And so it's Los Angeles with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching him today. A three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We've got more in store for you right after this. Target with that shot. Final buzzer and the Lakers win on the back of an incredible Kobe Bryant performance. Certainly one for the ages. You could feel something special was going to happen tonight. Kobe versus Jordan. And boy, it did not disappoint. And the way, Clark, that Kobe racked up the points, he was on a mission. Hey, look, he might not confess it publicly, Kevin, but this game meant more than a typical regular season game. I mean, this was Kobe letting everybody know that it's his NBA from here on out. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. 
Kevin, thanks very much. With Kobe Bryant. Kobe, going against Michael Jordan, and you've studied him so much, what was your focus in trying to disrupt him? You know, it's a great deal of preparation involved in trying to figure out what he likes to do and where he likes to do it. And then it's just a matter of trying to take it away from him as much as possible. You sure did it well tonight, Kobe. Thanks very much. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. For our reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone. brightest in Hollywood and they'll be blinding tonight as Dirk Nowitzki leads the Mavericks into LA to take on Kobe Bryant and the Lakers two of the biggest names in sports go head to head Kobe Dirk the world is watching it's all coming up right now there a look at Staples Center one of the most exciting places in downtown L.A. What better way to get ready for the holiday than with some NBA basketball on a Tuesday? Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our broadcast. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Coach Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. Tonight, it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Mike hosting the red-hot Dallas Mavs. Dallas comes in looking to keep their great play going but they'll be facing a tough Lakers team that's been much improved the last 10 games they've played. And Clark, you look at the rosters. We should see some interesting matchups in this one. I agree with you. I mean, it feels like it'll be a race to see which of these teams can slow down the other star. Kobe Bryant and Dirk Nowitzki are both virtually unguardable this year. I think it could be a great shootout if they get hot. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Marquise Daniels out there with Nowitzki. Then there's Dampier, and there's Terry, and it's Griffin in at the shooting guard position. And for the Lakers, Ryan Cook is out there with Kwame Brown. Then there's Odom, and there's Bryant, and it's Parker in at the point guard position. I'm curious how Kobe Bryant comes out to start the game. Only took 13 shots last time out in their loss. He knows he has to be more involved than that. Mike, I agree with you. I mean, that loss the Lakers suffered last time out to the Rockets only scored 74 points in that game, did the Lakers, and that just won't get it done. Kobe himself was quoted after the game saying he wished he had taken more shots in the contest, so I think it's a given. He's going to shoot more than 13 times tonight. And this is the final game of the Lakers' three-game homestand. Clark, they go on the road for the next three. Well, it's been a big homestand for the Lakers. They've seemingly hit their stride during this stretch. Good possession there. Ending up with Griffin at the line. The Mavericks shooting their first foul shots of the night here. Dallas, Adrian Griffin taking two shots. Throw drops for Griffin. Griffin is such a high IQ player, and he also combines that with playing hard and always being under control. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. And a nice shot by Bryant. Great recognition to read the D and go with the floater. Beautiful touch. And Mike, the last few games, the Lakers' defense has been huge for them. Well, the last three games, they've held their opponents to 36% from the floor. You make it that hard to shoot, you'll win most games. Knocks it loose, and it goes out of bounds. That one's off court. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Shot clock at two. Outside Terry. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, Terry demands attention on the perimeter because he is always ready to put up this shot. 
Ryan in the post. He's covered by Daniels. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First free throw is good. So much to like about Brian's game, but the X factor in my mind is his unmatched competitiveness and work rate. This guy has an inexhaustible appetite for work. And Clark with the Lakers, when Kobe starts getting hot, you worry the other guys don't get involved as much. I agree, Kevin, because it's easy to watch a guy like Kobe carry the load. I mean, they depend on him an awful lot for his level of production. But if they're going to win, they're going to need other players to get involved. Jason Terry is what I would call a lead guard. He's a shoot-first type of point guard, but does a nice job drawing fouls when he has the opportunity to do so. Here's Bryant. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Seven point differential. There's the pass to Vujicic. Bryant against Nowitzki. Gets it to fall. 19 for the quarter. Kobe's so athletic and smart. Hard to slow this guy down. I mean, he plays through contact well, too. Harris dishes to Daniels. Back to Harris. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Here's Bryant. Got it for his 21st point this quarter. How about Vujicic with the handle? Now Bryant following the miss by Terry from deep. Sinks it for 28 points on the quarter. Going inside with purpose and on a mission making it happen in tight. Yeah, the intensity is outstanding, and high percentage looks are a great way to build the lead. Here's Van Horn. Mike Gallus hasn't taken the same amount of threes this year as they did in the past. Coach Johnson doesn't want them looking for as many threes. You can see how different their approach is. Kobe passes to Vujicic. Here's Kobe. Got it. 32 points now in the half. Nice work, and they are getting it done at both ends. Embarrassing lapse of judgment there. Puts up a deep three. He did it! Got it before it hits zero. I love this game. I'm still trying to figure out how that went in. I'm not sure he even knows how it went in. He just threw it up and hoped for the best. By some miracle, he got it to go. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for Los Angeles. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. On the wing, Bryant. Uh, Kobe hitting the 50 point mark here with plenty of game left. Where will this take us? Mavs showing they're locked in and taking care of business this year. Shot clock. Oh, Kobe again. Some hot sauce on that. Kobe Bryant pulling the trigger on the catch. Here's Kobe. And what a show we've seen from Kobe. 62 points. And it's not even the fourth quarter. It's Nowitzki on the wing. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Los Angeles. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We'll take a quick break, and then back to the action here. Jack and Kobe facing off as the Lakers go to Miami. And the Spurs versus the Pistons later on should be a great one as well. That was a slick drive and throwdown by Bryant. Just cruising in for that crush. Here's the buzzer, and this one is in the book. Lakers win on the back of a sensational scoring display from the great Kobe Bryant. I've never seen anything like that. Kobe was locked in, and it seemed like he couldn't miss. Like he couldn't, and a tough loss for the Mavs. But Clark, they can only shake their head at what Kobe did right before him tonight. Look, Kevin. Sometimes when you witness greatness, you just have to sit back, appreciate it, respect it, and enjoy it. This was a game that we'll all remember for a very long time. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. 
Thank you, Kevin. Here with the Lakers, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, a quality win, but how do you carry this momentum onto the road? Just continue to focus you know, and approach every game as if it's a playoff game. You know, we have to really prepare very well and you know, go out on the road and see what we can do. Thanks very much, Kobe. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you later. Here comes Kobe, a little off balance, but it cuts inside, and one. Kobe Bryant just carrying this team. Put him over to Kobe. Bryant, a clutch three. The Lakers within one. Come on now. What can he do? Lakers down three. Kobe right here, trying for the tie. Good! Welcome to the Kobe Show. Brian in the corner draws the double over and Roy over both. It's in for 63. Come on. The defense has not been able to find an answer for him. Ooh. Talk about taking over. He's been special. This is one for the ages. It's a 65-point game for Kobe Bryant. The second best scoring performance of his career. Seven consecutive losses, injuries, slipping in the standings. Nothing is going right for the Lakers. Will Kobe and company finally get a win tonight? Or will the Blazers add to the Lakers' misery? And yet another perfect day here in Los Angeles. There's downtown, side of the nice big game. Welcome everyone to Staples Center with the czar Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. The normal buzz around the Lakers and Kobe Bryant is absent. This team is reeling. Losers of seven consecutive games. Mike, how do the Lakers right the ship? The game plan has to start with Kobe Bryant. Los Angeles needs Kobe to be superhuman in this one. This is the back end of a back-to-back. -back. The team got in late. They are really tired. And for this Lakers franchise, Clark, they've lost consecutive games by 25-plus points for the first time in their terrific team history. And, you know, Kevin, going back to their Minnesota days, Minneapolis, that is, the Lakers have never been blown out this badly in back-to-back -back games. I mean, they're really struggling at the offensive end, failing to get to 90 in each of their last two. They've got to knock down some threes, and as Mike said, Kobe will have to carry the load. Right now, the starting five for Coach Nate McMillan and his very young Trailblazer team. Rookie of the Year frontrunner Brandon Roy is at the two, with Jared Jack at the point. Ime Udoka and leading scorer Zach Randolph are the forwards. And the second overall pick of the draft, LaMarcus Aldridge is the center. And for the struggling Laker team and Coach Phil Jackson, they're five. They guard Smush Parker and the All-NBA force, Kobe Bryant. Sasha Vujicic, a late addition to the starting lineup replacing Luke Walton, is the three. The front line, two-it-all power forward, Lamar Odom. And first overall pick, Kwame Brown. And guys, Kobe switching from the number eight to 24 during the offseason, telling us the change is about growth, a new mentality, maturing as a player and as a man. Yeah, Kev, let's remember, Kobe entered the league at just 18 years old. Very young. Bryant had so much success wearing that number eight jersey, three titles, but he is ready for a new era. And I think he'll give us some memories wearing 24 as well. This Laker team tonight seems a little bit sluggish. They had issues getting from Denver back to L.A. last night. And our David Aldridge has the inside story there. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. After that loss last night in Denver, the Lakers didn't get back into L.A. until 6 a.m. this morning. Mechanical issues with their plane after boarding. The Lakers had to deplane plane and hang out in the small private terminal for three hours. They eventually left Denver at 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time. We'll see how much Los Angeles has left in the tank. Kevin? Thanks, DA. No rest for these Lakers. Mike, how's that affect them tonight? It'll have a big effect. Remember, they play.
played last night at altitude, too, making tonight's game even more challenging. Kobe with the bucket. LeBron visits a welcome sight for the Lakers. Lamar Odom is out there for L.A. Such a key part of this team, Kevin. I mean, he's been nursing that injured left shoulder after missing five games. Lamar returned last night in Denver. And quite expectedly, the Lakers lost all those games he missed. Last night in Denver, the Lakers falling 113 to 86 to the Nuggets. LA just three of 22 from three-point range. That yeah, was a tough night for the Lakers. Yet on the other side, the answer: Allen Iverson, 14 points, 13 assists. Melo had a game high 26. Denver leaping over the Lakers into the sixth seed in the West. Here's Randall following the basket by Kobe Bryant. My Kobe is on a heater of late. Wow averaging over 35 points per game during his last six games. It's been a month since he scored less than 25 in a game. Hands it from downtown. Kobe's got 11. And they're pressing their advantage here, looking to extend this lead. Not content to rest on their laurels. They'll continue to attack. Here's Randolph. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Or what a basketball IQ Randolph has. I mean, he's got a really good understanding of when to take these kinds of shots. This is Phil Jackson's 16th year as a head coach. The current seven-game losing streak is the longest of his career. Hey, look, you've coached Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. There aren't going to be too many losing streaks on your resume. But I do know this has been very frustrating for Phil. The Zen master trying all of his tricks to get this team back on track. And the Lakers making a change here. Evans has checked in. One on one here. I'm Deep Evans, offensive rebound. Got it, 28 points this hand. Relentless effort from Bryant. This guy never gives up on a play. And so it's Los Angeles closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. And stolen by Farmo. We've got more than a month, Clark, left in the season, but there is zero doubt that Brandon Roy will win the Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I concur. I mean, Roy's been Rookie of the Month the previous two months. You've got to get a shot up and over. Aldridge has those long arms, and his time is good, too. Three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Jack against Parker. Bounce pass, Jack. Aldridge kicks to Yudoka. In the corner, Randolph with it. Roy from outside, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Well, I tell you what, Kobe gets after it defensively now. Desire and determination on full display. He wants to shut folks down. So as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. Lakers on top, running away with it. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. It's another busy night on the 101. Los Angeles shining bright. We're back from halftime with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan from Southern California. Vujicic grabs the miss. Here's Los Angeles now. Oh, there's no stopping Kobe Bryant. Tonight, his 15th career 50-point game. Odom against Randall. Lakers with the rebound. Brown's got his sixth rebound on the night. Odom with the screen for Bryant. Wide open look. It drops. He's got 55. Kobe knows exactly what he's doing. Clever, crafty. He's able to disrupt the defense and get what he wants. Jack passes to Randall. Here's Roy. Lock at six. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Clark, this is the 15th 50-plus point game in Kobe Bryant's career. You know what? That puts him in all-time company. This sure does, partner. Only will. Here's Bryant. Good. 59 points now. 
There's no stopping Kobe when he attacks like this, even when the defense gets aggressive with him. Kobe Bryant getting it done for the Los Angeles Lakers. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all, and he looks to be planning for more. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Play every which way. McGlure is right where he should be on both ends of the action. Kobe against Jack. Kobe kicks to Farmar. They double team Kobe. In the corner, it's Odom. Six on the shot clock. Those three pointers off the mark. And Portland with the ball. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Here's Dickow. Pass to Roy. Here's Dickow. And a miss there on the triple. Bryant with it. Let's it go from deep. Oh, the triple! And Kobe Bryant has reached the 70 point mark. An incredible night. Roy against Evans. Roy passes to McGlure. Outside Roy, three-pointer. Odom grabs the board. Odom's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Kobe. Suryov kicks to Farmer. And there's the pass to Bryant. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And Los Angeles with some changes. Brown comes in for Roni Turioff. And Parker subbed in for Jordan Farmer. Aldridge, he's checked in for Portland. Here's Udoka. Portland, no good that time either. The defense has to feel fortunate with that miss. He's not usually the guy you want to leave open from downtown. Here's Bryant. Got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. There have just been two players that have ever had multiple 70-point games. Wilt and now Kobe. They get a hand on it. Here's Roy. A teardrop falls in. Well, I would think Roy has to be pleased with his play right now. It always feels good when you find your rhythm out there. Out to Kobe. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Odom with the screen for Kobe. Gets it to go. He has 30 for the half. The story tonight. Another out of this world performance by Marcello from the great Kobe Bryant. Kobe is why this losing skid has ended. Bryant was marvelous, had total control of this game. Looking like the best player in the world. And honestly, Clark, we were just in awe, all of us, of what Kobe did right before us tonight. Hey, it's simple. Sometimes you simply have to sit back and enjoy what you are seeing. Kobe treated us to an all-timer tonight. Basketball history made. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Here with Kobe Bryant. Kobe, another big win. How does this team keep its focus as you march your way toward the playoffs? Well, we got big games coming up against some very tough opponents. I think it's, uh, at this point in the season, I mean, it should be very easy for us to maintain our focus. Getting down to it, Kobe. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. See you next time. It's Bryant knifing his way inside for two. Here's Bryant. Oh, and he sinks it and falls on the play. Oh, the soft touch inside. Here's Kobe, and he buries the three. Lakers with momentum. Here is Kobe Bryant. Let's see what he does. Good. Kobe with a hand in his face. Oh, my goodness. Duncan with tremendous defense, and he still hits it. Just listen to this crowd. Bryant attacking inside around Tim Duncan. Another amazing performance.
performance tonight. He's the most skilled and determined player in the world right now. It's a matchup between two franchises that have combined to win seven of the last nine NBA championships. It's Kobe Bryant against Tim Duncan. Bill Jackson against Greg Popovich. The Lakers and Spurs add to their historic Western Conference rivalry with a trip to the finals on the line. Our backdrop for today's game, skyscrapers and palm trees. Two things you can find a lot of in this beautiful city of Los Angeles. Oh, you can feel the playoff electricity here inside Staples Center in downtown L.A. And now, let's hand it over to Lakers public address announcer, Lawrence Tanner, for tonight's starting lineup. Southern California as the Los Angeles Lakers look to punch their ticket to the NBA Finals by taking on the defending champion San Antonio Spurs. Hi everyone, with Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. Clark, this series has renewed the rivalry of the decade for sure. No doubt about it, Kevin. This is now the sixth playoff series between the Lakers and Spurs since 99 and while LA is on the verge of taking a 4-2 advantage in those matchups the Spurs have won four titles in that span compared to the Lakers three excellence on both sides Yeah, Clark a lot of great basketball and of course Mike at the center of this rivalry are the stars Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan Mike what have you seen from them well, Kobe has been the best player in this series so far. I don't think anyone would argue with that. He's played with great intensity on both ends and looks hungrier than ever to get back to the finals. And on the other side, Tim Duncan is coming off a championship. But the Spurs need him to be better if they want to get back in this series. All right, now let's check the starting lineups for the San Antonio Spurs. They've got Tim Duncan up front with Bruce Bowen and Fabricio Oberto. And Tony Parker along with Michael Finley at the guard spots. And for the Lakers, it's league MVP Kobe Bryant paired with Derek Fisher in the backcourt. Up front, Lamar Odom and Rodmanovich at the forward spots. And the terrific Paul Gasol manning the middle. L.A. now leads the series three games to one. But they started it off in dramatic fashion. In game one, they trailed 65-45 midway through the third quarter. And then Kobe Bryant erupted scoring 25 second half points and rallying the Lakers to a win. Wasted no time on that one. Fisher's got the first points up on the board for the Lakers. Boy, Kobe much more than a shooter now. So good at getting into his open teammates. They 
Fisher against Parker. Rowan, good. So Clark and the Lakers three wins this series. They've only allowed 82 points per game, holding San Antonio to only 38% shooting. They're playing suffocating defense. Kevin, yeah, to me, the Lakers have just looked like the better team. I mean, in large part, because they've been able to play with that sustained and focused energy. The Spurs, on the other hand, have shown their age a bit, often looking worn down by the end of these games. Here's Bowen after the basket by Los Angeles. Pass to Duncan. Puts the move on. And the dunk by Duncan. And clearly Kobe's looking, Coach, to build off the momentum of that 28-point, 10-rebound game four. Well, the Spurs are going to have their hands full once again. No one has been able to hold him below 22 points in these playoffs. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. Here's Bowen. Rejected by Gasol. Great wingspan in use that time from Pau Gasol. He did a nice job affecting that shot. Again, the miss by Bryant. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Kobe's got his second basket of the night. How about that wonderful floater he had? Showing off an exquisite touch. Parker takes to Alberto. Now the pass to Parker. Al Finley from deep. And Odom pulls it down. Bryant looking over the floor. Over Duncan. Bryant finds Odom. Misses from close range. You expect to get two points there. A little unlucky for them. Well, the Lakers swept the, the Nuggets in their first round series, Mike. And in the second round, the Jazz pushed them to six games. Utah fought hard, but their defense got torched by Kobe Bryant. He averaged 33 points, seven rebounds, and seven assists. Gasol and Odom each averaged 18 points on top of that. Outside the Gasol. Bryant on the wing, started by Finley. Out of the basket. A red hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player. So they want to get him going early. And Popovich oh. wants the timeout. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Kobe feeling it. 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. From about 19 feet, score the basket is second of two attempts. The lefty stroke of Fisher, especially deadly for the mid-range. Parker outside. 12 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. With one on the clock, and the last shot before the buzzer is on. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Lakers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll return shortly. Welcome back to Los Angeles for the Lakers look to close out the defending champion San Antonio Spurs. Lakers lead by five. Like of course earlier this month, Kobe Bryant was awarded his first NBA MVP with averages of 28 points, six rebounds, five assists, and two steals a game, while taking his team, the Lakers, to the top seed in the Western Conference. And it feels somewhat overdue. He's arguably been the best player in the world for a few years now. And this wasn't even his best statistical season. Ginobili is such a solid pass. He drops a dime whenever he can for a ready shoot. And Kobe gets it to go. And I like how versatile he is on offense. Capable of growing defense in so many ways. Now here's Ginobili. Pass to Finley. Ginobili. Just tried to shoot. Hits it from three-point range. Ginobili's got himself on the board with three birds. Finley comes in for Thomas. And Parker subbed in for Ginobili. Duncan kicks to Finley. No good. That would have tied it. Lakers leading by three. Kobe draws the double. There's the screen. Shot from the top of the key. And 
and another basket for the Lakers. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating those. And coach, the versatility of Lamar Odom is important to this Lakers team. He's their point forward and does a little of everything for this team. A true utility. And with power here, there's less scoring pressure on his shoulders. And that one's good. Parker, look at that quickness. Parker is a blur on his way to the rim. On the wing, Lakers shooting their first free throws of the evening. The first one falls. The Lakers making a switch here. Fisher's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Alberto's checked in. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. Duncan inside. Defended by Odom. Duncan is so good with that pump fake, in part because he's so fundamentally sound. Has no weakness in the fundamental aspects of the game. The Spurs shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Tim Duncan. And Duncan drops them both. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Los Angeles leading by three. After averaging 20 points on 57% shooting Clark in the first two rounds of the playoffs, Al Gasol's production has dipped here against the Spurs. As a basketball player, I think it's because of his speed. He has blinding speed and excellent change of pace, too. Clark for Al Gasol, his fourth playoff appearance, and the first time that he's advanced past round one. Well, advancing in the playoffs is so much about what kind of team you have. He did make the playoffs three times in his six seasons with the Grizzlies, but they got swept all three times because they were overmatched by their opponent. But it wasn't Gasol's fault. He was their leading scorer in each postseason trip. Well, I tell you, there's a suddenness to Parker that helps him create space in the lane, unlike any other player in the league. Shoots it. Crops it in. And that takes team for him in the quarter. Excellent vision on display, dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Now here's Parker. Here's Oberto. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got four assists now tonight. Tony Parker makes it look easy dropping those dimes like that. He seems to be one step ahead of the defense all the time. Kobe Bryant getting it done for the Lakers. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And a look at the beautiful L.A. coastline. The sun is set, and we're ready for the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to the second half. It's game five of the Western Conference Finals here in L.A. The Spurs trying to force a game six against the hometown Lakers. Coach, back in December, Kobe Bryant became the youngest player in NBA history to reach 20,000 points at the age of just over 29 years old, beating out former record holder Wilt Chamberlain by just 12 days. And Kobe just keeps adding to the list. He was already the youngest player to score 10,000 through 19,000 career points. That is until 23-year-old LeBron James surpassed him as the youngest to score 10,000. The length of Odom shows up at both ends of the floor. Outstanding defense there. Working his way inside for a high percentage look there. Nice this should be a trade committee that can scratch all trades that make no sense. I just wish I'd been on a trade committee that only get a The song passes to Odom. Another for Kobe. He's getting close to his playoff career high. 50 against the Suns back in 06. Kobe Bryant has put together, Mike, another excellent performance right before it. And the Lakers are just getting more out of their superstar. Bryant is outperforming Tim Duncan. Nice shot by Ginobili. The Lakers have been dominant here at home, going 7-0 so far in these playoffs. And their last home loss was actually two full months ago at the hands of the Memphis Grizzlies. And, you know, Mike, their playoff success at home goes back nearly a decade. Since moving to the Staples Center in 1999, 
the Lakers have gone 50 and 10 at home in the postseason. That is about an 83 percent winning clip. Here's Barry following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Ginobili looking around, and it's San Antonio with another move. Outside Bryant shoots from the elbow. That's 50 points for Kobe Bryant. He is now tied his playoff career high. He is incredible. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat on eight points at the end of the quarter. They shoot the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We come back right after this. Nice position and making good on the second chance. Parker's shot is off. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Unbelievable! Bobby Bryant has now tied Michael Jordan's playoff record. 63 points! San Antonio calls timeout. Kobe Bryant really making a difference here. He can't miss from deep. The defense has to regroup here and I think they've got to change things up because he's locked in from behind the arc. And Los Angeles with some changes. Best shot you can. Bowen in the painted area there. Outside, Kobe. Bryant is doubled. Tipped away. Ginobili with the steal. Here's Parker. Boy, Kobe continues to rebound well in this series. Coming off a 10 rebound performance in game four. Odom with a screen on Parker. Bryant finds Odom. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Lakers lead by 19. What a way for them to finish the game. Closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one to bed. Double team. Here's Duncan. Goes back up. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Puts one up from 19. That's good for Motum on the assist by Bryant. And you know their lead just continues to grow, and it's not just because of their offense. They're getting it done in both ends. Yeah, their defense has been stellar as well. Great work on both ends. They are the new Western Conference champions. The Los Angeles Lakers are headed back to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2004 after taking down the defending champion Spurs in five games. And we know how much this means for Kobe to get back to the Finals. And to do it against Tim Duncan and an organization like the Spurs makes this an even greater accomplishment. We all heard, Clark, the questions and doubts about Bryant. But this playoff run should silence the critics. Yeah, I would agree the mute button should be on all of those critics because Kobe put together another amazing performance tonight. He's proved throughout the regular season and playoffs that he is the most skilled and determined player in the world right now. And let's go down to the floor where Ernie Johnson is alongside Kobe Bryant. We're going back to the finals for the first time since 04. How does that feel to you? It's exciting. Man. We're all excited, you know. And uh, I'm just I'm just happy for my guys, happy for the city, and uh, we ain't done yet. Oh, these teams are really battling out there. Oh, beautiful pump fake by Bryant. Kobe stops, he'll pop, and he'll hit it. Bryant barreling through traffic for two. Here's Allen. It's just hard to come by right now for boss Kobe rise and fire Lakers now up four their biggest lead tonight we've seen this time and time again here we go about a minute to go Brian and Allen on top Kobe will probe and look and work and feed there's our test for three it's good it's good back to back the Los Angeles Lakers are the 2010 What a special moment for Kobe Bryant, earning his fifth championship. 
the greatest rivalry in the game has been renewed on the ultimate stage. The Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics are each fighting to build on their legacy. And after a grueling back and forth series, it all comes down to this. The sweetest words in sports. Game seven of the 2010 NBA Finals. The perfect setting for tonight's game. Los Angeles, a city that is rich with postseason history. It is the final NBA game of the season. We've arrived to this great point. The anticipation is building. For tonight's starting lineup, let's send it over to Lakers PA announcer, Lawrence Tanton. On the floor for the visitors, the Boston Celtics. At center from last year, number 11, Gwen Davis. A guard from Kentucky, number nine, Rajon Rondo. A guard from UConn, number 20, Ray Allen. That ball from Fairview Academy High School in Chicago, number five, Kevin Nevada. That ball from Kansas, number 34, Paul Pierce. The head coach for the Celtics, Doc Rivers. And now on the first time to win, the starting line for the Western Conference champions, New Orleans and Georgia Lakers. At forward, 6'7 from St. John's, number 37. from Spain, number 16, Paul Gasol. And forward 16 from Rhode Island, number 7, Ramon. My dog, 6 one from Arkansas, Little Rock. Number two, Derek Fisher. The other guy, six six from Long Island High School. Number twenty-four, Cody Bryant. The head coach is Nancy Campbell. to Los Angeles for Game 7 of the NBA Finals. Alongside Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlow. And Mike, this is only the third time in the last 21 years that the Finals have gone to a seventh game. And it just so happens that this deciding game will be between the two pillars of our league, the Lakers and Celtics. These franchises have won the last two Finals and they account for 32 of the 60 total championships in NBA history. Just incredible success. Mike, it sure is. And the Lakers, of course, Clark, have a chance to repeat as champions on their home floor. And you know they're hoping this L.A. crowd can help them get this win, Kevin. But they can't rely on just the crowd now. Both teams have dropped the game at home in this series. This one is going to come down to who can bring the most intensity over the longest period of time. 
I expect it to be an absolute dogfight. Let's check out the starting five for Doc Rivers in the Boston Celtics. At the point, it's first-time All-Star Rajon Rondo with Ray Allen at the two. Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett man the forward spots with Glenn Davis replacing the injured Kendrick Perkins at center. And the starters for Phil Jackson in the Los Angeles Lakers. At the guard spots, it's the four-time champions. Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant. Defensive stopper Ron Artest in at the three with the versatile front line of Lamar Odom and Paul Gasol. These teams have traded blows all series long in a matchup that has been defined by defense and physicality. The refs have been letting them play and baskets have been really tough to come by. And a nice shot by Bryant. You know, when it's Kobe running that big roll, I think you've got to blitz it. Get the ball out of his hands, otherwise you're in trouble. Outside, Pierce, back to run. Basket good. Well, in this series, Boston has averaged about 88 and a half points per game. Clark compared to LA's 92 points per game. Both teams are scoring 10 fewer points than their regular season average. And Kevin, both of these teams each had top 10 defenses during the regular season, so that's why it's a tough task to score. But I tell you, they've taken it to another level in this series. We'll see which side can get the advantage here tonight. First, 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 first team five. First quarter just over a minute played. Nice ball movement by Boston. Davis kicks to Pierce. Just five to shoot. Going inside. Plays it up off the glass. This past February, Kobe Bryant became the Lakers' all-time leading scorer. And Mikey surpassed Jerry West's previous record of over 25,000 points. And it all comes full circle. As you know, Jerry West was the one who traded for Kobe Bryant on draft night in 1996. Kicks it out to Al. Pass to Rondo. Outside Pierce. Fires away from way outside. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. He is not missing too many of those. Count on. Defensively, that's not the game plan. But sometimes you can't. Oh! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. This is in the dry spell continues. Hey, we always hear about the Celtics' big three, Mike. But if anything, I think they're a big four. I'd be interested in your take on this. When you factor in Rajon Rondo, who's been tremendous during these playoffs, look at his number. 16, nine assists, almost six boards and two steals. That's stuff in that stat sheet, Mike. He's actually averaging more points than Kevin Barnett. And just about the same as Ray Allen. And he's not even known for his score. They have set the tone in the paint, getting whatever they want. Well, not much resistance. And if things don't change, this could turn into a blowout. To the inside. And Garnett with the basket on the assist by Pierce. Always ready to lift his team up. Get open, and Pierce will put you ahead of himself. Kobe against Allen. Oda. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for Los Angeles, And that one falls for Odom. Celtics, on the other hand, only got seven points from their reserves. Good from Gasol, one of the best post scorers in our game today. That is a high percentage look for the Lakers. Gasol has tremendous touch and feel around the rim. Shoots from 12. Misses off the left eye. And Rondo is one of the best rebounding guards in the entire league. Even though he's only 6'1", he's got an incredible wingspan at 6 foot 9 inches. Now just kicks the vision. Good for the basket. Yeah, Starting off one for one with that shot. You know, because of his size, he can be at a disadvantage inside, but Fisher knows how to work around that. Passes it to Rondo. 
back to Pierce for our test. And another miss by Boston. Hey, Mike, since coming into the league together in 1996, Derek Fisher and Kobe Bryant have been a productive backcourt pairing. Four titles together, trying to make it five. Through their trials, they've developed a strong friendship and bond on the basketball court. And there's a level of trust between them that few teammates have. Barnett dishes to Allen. Davis setting the pick for Allen. Pass to Pierce. Shot clock at six. This ball movement by Boston. There it is, only a second basket. He's missed eight. That's a second 20%. Yeah. Nice dish by Allen. Put him at the one or the two. He's effective either way. Kobe against Allen. To the paint. Here's Kobe. Good, and the assist that time by Gasol. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left him that much of a lane to work with. the post. Hold him on here. Garnett can't get it to go. Outside for Gasol. Bryant on the wing. Back to Gasol. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, Kobe and Ron Artest are teammates now, Mike, but they had some battles for sure as opponents. They definitely had some chippy matchups and face-to-face -face altercations. They got into it multiple times in last year's conference semifinals when Artest was a member of the Rockets. It resulted in a few technical fouls and an ejection for Artest, but they work well as teammates and have bonded through their shared competitive fire. And Fisher kicks to Bryant. To the middle, here's Gasol. He's been up and in off the pretty assist. Gasol's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. The eye of the Tiger, the focus and intensity on full display with Gasol. It's Pierce on the wing. Over our test. Here's Pierce. That's good on the assist by Rondo. Pierce has got eight points here in this quarter. Rondo with a nice dish. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a view of downtown L.A., a city that is anxiously awaiting the start of the third quarter. Welcome back to the Staples Center here in Los Angeles. We're one half closer to crowning this season's NBA champion. Here's Fisher. These are not only the two most storied franchises in the league, they're also the two biggest rivals. Well, Kevin, they're clearly a cut above everybody else in the league. The Celtics have won 17 titles in 21 appearances to the final, while the Lakers have won 15 titles in 31 appearances. L.A. would certainly love to get a win here and move within one of Boston's all-time record. Garnett with a screen on Fisher. Garnett left side. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. On the wing, Fisher. Another miss by Fisher. You know, normally he sinks those three. Nice job by the defender, not allowing him to have an easy look. Garnett outside. Over in the corner, Allen. A three-pointer off the mark. Los Angeles leading by 13. Or just the best of Odom. Back to our chest. A shot good on the assist by Odom. And the Lakers have still managed to push it to seven games. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. An interesting wrinkle in this year's finals is that for both Phil Jackson and Doc Rivers, the Cavs said there is no guarantee that they'll return to their respective teams next season. But, you know, Kevin Rivers has said he wants to spend more time with his family. And for Phil, it comes down to health. It's just not common to see that kind of uncertainty surrounding the two coaches in the NBA Finals. You look at the versatility of Odom, especially at the defensive end where he can guard multiple positions, makes him extremely valuable. 
Pierce attacking. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send them to the line than allow an easy layup. The Lakers making a switch here. Vujicic has checked in. 105 left to play in the third. Farmar deciding where to go with it. Inside, here's Gasol. Garnett grabs the board. Celtics trail by 13. Robinson goes in, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the Lakers can call for the foul. Nate Robinson is certainly a great example of how skill can overcome size every time. And there's plenty of toughness to Nate's game, too. Brown is checked in for Paul Gasol. Tony Allen's checked in for Boston. Martez with the screen on Pierce. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Thirty-two seconds left in the third. Outside Robinson. Now here's Pierce. He's covered closely. Kobe Bryant has now double-digit rebounds for the second consecutive game. He's doing whatever it takes. Oh, strong move by Kobe. When he catches the hot hand, good luck trying to slow him down. Plays so under control, can spot up, drive, create for himself. A matchup right here. And so it's Los Angeles. 13 points up at the end of the period. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Coach has something to say about that. And you have to address situations like this right away, or it's just going to keep happening to you. Or Jordan Farmer. Davis has checked in for the Celtics. Rondo comes in for Allen. And it's good. Two points. Mission does a really good job positioning himself defensively to come up with steal. Rondo against Fisher. Rondo dishes to Garnett. Davis in the corner, right wing. Here's Rondo, sweet little floater. You look at Rondo, he's got a nice touch, but he's adaptable too. I mean, he can change and alter his release point. The floater is one of the many moves that he can go to with confidence. And that one's good from Fisher. And their offense so much more efficient here in the second half. I like what I see. Yeah, things really tilting their way. They've got all the momentum. Pierce with a screen for Rondo. Puts one up from 19. Here's Pierce. That's good on the assist by Rondo. What you like about Rondo is the elite vision. Wow. Lakers leading by 19. Outside, Kobe. He dishes it to Fisher. Kobe against Allen. Kobe kicks to our chest. And the three off target. Celtics trail by 19. Rondo passes to Pierce. Back to Rondo. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And it's eight points for Rajon Rondo. Ryan against him. And the dunk by Kobe. Boy, what a great athlete Kobe Bryant is. Watching him take flight and jam it down doesn't get much better than that. 121 left in the game. Pierce with the screen on Fisher. Pierce up top, covered by our test. Pierce kicks to Garnett, lets the three fly. It's rebounded by Bryant. And so Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. 
They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. That shot, no good. Here's Boston, 19-point game. Passes to Rondo. It's Pierce on the wing, guarded by Kobe. Rejected by Gasol. Using his length on defense. Loves seeing Gasol throw his weight around on this end. Kobe, that's good. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out because in the NBA, no lead is safe. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Barnett outside. He kicks it to Pierce. Jacks up a three. A three-pointer is right on target. With his three-point shooting ability, Pierce can play either the three or stretch you out from the four spot. And that's part of what makes him so valuable. Odom with a screen on Allen. Here's Kobe. Blanketed by the Dean. Fights to the rim for the lane. Great idea. Go at length. Don't be scared. Get into it. Put the pressure on. Well, it absolutely... Oh, the Los Angeles Lakers repeat as champions. Getting their revenge on the Boston Celtics. The legendary performance from Kobe Bryant. He left it all on the court. Leading his team over a stacked Celtic squad with four All-Stars. And Bryant once again proving that his will to win is second to none. You got that right. It's his mentality and toughness that makes him special and takes him over the top. He fought through a number of injuries on this title run and now winning his fifth NBA championship. What a journey. Good night, everyone. We'll see you next time.